So I had cycled across the Netherlands and just now I'd gone over the border into Germany on a thousand kilometer cycling and camping adventure to Sweden, riding to my husband who is Swedish. I was super excited about it because the year before, just when I was about to set off, I'd found out that my cancer had come back. Everything was delayed for a year, but now I was on the way. The main challenge here seemed to be where to camp. I had planned to do the whole trip in 12 days, camping all the way. But campsites seemed quite few and far between along my route through Germany. This was my original plan, which already had question marks and gaps on it. But then in the Netherlands, I'd had a sore knee and had to rest. And now I was a couple of days behind schedule, which is no big deal. Uh, and I was overjoyed that my knee got better so that I could continue, but I'd planned to cross the Jade Bight by ferry, and that ferry only goes at weekends, and now I'd missed it. So I had to replan almost everything actually, because it kind of knocked my distances out. And I ended up with even more question marks about where I'd camp. But I was super excited to be in a new place. Mm -hmm. right. I don't know what they're saying, moin, I think it is, moin. The first place I hoped to camp was a kind of youth activity centre. I don't normally book normal campsites, but I gave them a call. They no doubt will have gone home by the time I get there because it's, it's about half past six now. Um, it's beautiful evening. It's so nice to be out in it. Super nice. Right, this is it. And it's literally only me here. <laughs> I <laughs> thought they might be, up, be full or something. Um, just so I can camp anywhere. And there's a big field. Okay. So dinner is going to be a pilaf kind of curry dish. We're going to soak these onions, which are dehydrated. Soak this rice. Then it will have fresh tomatoes, fresh garlic, soya mince dried parsley and then some spices. So I'm going to leave the stuff to soak while I go and have a shower and do the washing. The onion is ready to use. It's just brilliant and look the rice as well. Slightly making it up in a way because we're supposed to use tomato puree which I didn't want to bring because it's like a metal tube that's quite heavy so I'm just using tomatoes and then I've added the parsley as an idea it's gonna be nice good actually no <laughs> The activity centre staff invited me to have breakfast with them, which was super nice. And there was no coffee, just tea. And they told me all about how East Frisian people are big on their tea and so on. Super kind people. Today, I'm a little bit conflicted about what to do, really. There were two campsites along my route here, but the first was kind of too near and the second was too far. Just see how it goes, really. Now I was heading into Oldenburg, another former state. This region has been closely linked with Denmark. Straight cruising, headed for a bruising. 
Watching out for number one You gotta slow down Look around you, son Today is just today to Varel and then do some shopping and it's like where on earth am I gonna put anything? I realised I needed to stock up to avoid running out of food. Really few and far between with shops so yeah it's quite tricky anyway find a way. I hadn't expected it to be so tricky to get food. You, you imagine buying vegetables at farms and going to small shops and villages and actually I'm in massive Lidl. Okay, so that actually didn't work at all because everything's in really big packs in there. Loads of onions, potatoes, like whole massive bags. So that didn't really work. So I've just bought some bread and we'll try another shop. <laughs> try another shop. It's massive as well. It's called Famila. Um, so, let's see about this. Oh, so, look, yay! Loads of lovely things. I squashed everything into my bags and I carried on. <laughs> I've reached the Jade Bike now, a big bay of the North Sea, so I thought I'd climb up the dike and have a look. <laughs> There's a little path here up the dike. In the Middle Ages, this was actually land and there were villages here, but the sea washed in and the villages became like islands and then they drowned and disappeared completely. Mm. I decided to do the 50 kilometer option for the day and just around the corner was the campsite caravan. with loads of caravans actually, but I found a really nice back corner. So, here I am. It's a nice place. There's a little farmhouse there. And then they've got a campsite along the road. The next day, there were no campsites on my route. Bit of a funny thing this morning because I don't know where I'm camping really tonight. I thought I'd just try and camp wild. In theory, I could be fined. Of course, I do no damage and leave no trace. It's always a bit nerve-wracking, but pretty much always brilliant. I think I'm going to camp wild tonight, so I feel quite excited. On the other side was the former state of Hanover. 
It was weird to think that British Hanoverian kings, like King George I, George II, and so on, were actually from here. Right, so we've got a plan. Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to head to this area here and see if it's possible to camp wild and if it's not there's a couple of campsites that are actually on the Elba here which would be a pretty long day I don't know how many miles probably not far off a hundred so that'd be big but um good to know so that's the plan it's three o'clock now good let's go I rode to the place where I hoped to camp wild and I started to look for a place. Obviously, I don't want to be seen by anyone. This looked promising, but I saw some people, so I pushed on, eyes peeled. Works. walkers and things I just saw some people walking this would be brilliant <laughs> Okay. Brilliant. So I've hidden the bike because I noticed the wheels have got reflexive stuff on and it works really well. In fact, there's reflexes on the tent, which I'll probably just leave. Right, okay. Time for dinner. Can you see me? <laughs> you know, I actually forgot I had this. I was struggling, thinking, oh God, these awful midges. And then I suddenly thought, oh, hold on, I've got a midge net. <gasps> and now it's fine. Water is on for coffee. I slept pretty well, actually. The only thing is when you get up to go to the loo in the night, you bring a whole load of midges in with you, which will have to be one by one got rid of. Brilliant. I'm so chuffed that worked so well. So I rolled down towards the Elba. At the Elba, I was going to turn left and ride north towards Denmark. I just love this. It really makes you think, oh my God, all you need is a few bits and bobs and you could just go anywhere. Just feel so lucky, so free. This is so precious. <laughs> Yep. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
das ist, äh, das ist nicht zu weich wird. Die soll ja noch ein bisschen knackig sein. Nicht, nicht zu, zu weich viel wird. kochen. Nicht zu viel kochen. Nicht zu viel ja, kochen. ja, danke. Tschüss. Tschüss. So this is the Alba, which goes to Hamburg. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. Hey, it's not right or wrong. It's about trying. On these teeny weeny little lens. was getting towards evening and I needed to find somewhere to camp. There was no campsite again, but there was apparently a free van stop. There is a sort of mysterious, apparently lovely spot for camper vans by a lake. And it possibly has water, although possibly not. Suspect. Basically, there's a parking space and it's okay if you've got a van, but if you haven't got a van, there's no space. And then the regulation said you're not allowed in between 11 o'clock and 5 a.m. or something. So it's like, okay, I see. I might just sit down somewhere and have something to eat. And I'm sorted now, I've got my water. Then let's find a spot. Somewhere. Somewhere in here looks good. Potato with this, which is a massive asparagus. I've never seen one that big. I had sort of rushed into this wood last night. Now I had to find my way out again and head north. Gosh, I can't quite remember how I came in. Yeah. Yeah, that way.
down onto the road now. Well, road <laughs> track. <laughs> Eventually, I got out of the wood and it had been a brilliant spot. So the plan today is to get to the Baltic Sea, which is super exciting. And I'm going to stay in a campsite, which is also super exciting. Shower and everything. Actually, though, I've got a um, foldable bowl with me. So I fill it with enough water to have a mini shower and I have a shower. So shower you know as uh, wash properly and it's so lovely you feel so much better but nonetheless it'd be really nice to be in a campsite with proper showers <laughs> Schleswig-Holstein felt really different from the North German plain. It definitely feels like I've left behind a flat Finland that's down there. And you actually get views like this. It's nice. It's nice. I'm going to have to do some shopping again today, I think, because I've only got garlic, some grains and pancake mix. <laughs> Wow, how lovely. <laughs> this is going to be great. Yep. Beide Tüten sind das. Yep. Das sind 4 Euro. Yeah. Dankeschön. Yep. Eins zurück. Yep. Yeah. Ein schön. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
judging. <laughs> Hello. But the rain stopped. Today was my last day in Germany. Quite hard to climb. Quite hard even to push on. <laughs> so, today I'm going to cross the border into Denmark. It's just amazing. <laughs> I just popped in this shop and yes, they had methylated spirits. So that's brilliant. <sighs> so, <laughs> to the border. <laughs> Across the Fly Firth, an inlet of the Baltic Sea. Now I was crossing into Anglia Peninsula. If you run away, don't hesitate to just let me know where Anglia Peninsula is where the Anglo-Saxon Angles lived before they moved to England. rain up there on its way here to me it was actually but i wasn't going to get hit by it until i was in denmark for now i had arrived at the danish border coming up towards flensburg now that's the last town in germany <laughs> Woo! I wanted to come to denmark and got all the maps and everything last year and then it didn't happen. Oh, but here I am. I'm so happy. I honestly, I'm so happy. And you know, the knee has made it even better because the knee threw the whole thing off again into like, oh, it might not happen. You might not be able to do it. It's not something you can take for granted to be able to do this. <laughs> 